Hi, my name is Sandeep and I work with BMC Atrium Orchestrator product line and today we're going to talk about ServiceNow integration. In the previous video, we have talked about the ServiceNow Actor Adapter and in this video, we're going to talk about ServiceNow Monitor Adapter. We'll be configuring the ServiceNow Monitor Adapter in our Grid Manager and we'll be building a rule to trigger a particular workflow. So let's move to our Grid Manager. This is my CDP. This is my CDP grid manager console. And let's quickly look for the ServiceNow monitor adapter. Let's activate the monitor adapter on the grid. The adapter is now added to the grid. Let's hit the configure button. One thing to remember over here is ServiceNow Monitor Adapter is based on email notification. So we need to ensure that we provide the email address which has been configured in our ServiceNow instance. For the purpose of this video, I have already created an email account with Gmail and that is the email account which I have configured in my ServiceNow instance. Let me copy the configuration from the notepad and switch to XML. Let me give it, uh, give the adapter a name. In the adapter configuration, you would have to provide the POP3 email server as the target, the port it's going to be using, your username for the email account, your password, and your email address. Let's save the configuration now. Our adapter is now configured. Let's, let's activate it on a peer. The adapter has successfully been activated. Let's check it, check its status on the grid. All right, it looks like the adapter is up and running. Let's quickly move to our development studio so that we can evaluate the rule which has been written to trigger the uh, trigger a particular workflow if it satisfies the rule. This is what a ServiceNow monitor event would look like when the monitor adapter will pick up the email message from the email address. We can use that uh, to configure or to, con uh, to build our rule uh, and trigger a particular workflow. Let me copy this event uh, and take it to the Dev Studio. Paste. Okay. I wanted to trigger my rule based on the incidence. If an incidence is an unassigned state, then I wanted to trigger a particular workflow. All right, let's write our rule. Uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to evaluate whether the subject line contains unassigned and it start with INC or it contains something like INC as ServiceNow uh, names their instance ID uh, starting with INC. So let me select the option string contains and let me insert it over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make certain changes over here. I'm only interested in email uh, hyphen message and under email message I'm interested in subject. And what I'm looking for is INC. Let's see if I just do that. 
it should show us a condition as true okay that looks okay uh, apart from that I'm also looking for the validation that whether the subject has a statement called unassigned so let me add an and condition over here okay and that will evaluate the second condition which would be unassigned all right let, looks good let's evaluate it again all right so if these two things are available on the email message it will trigger our particular workflow let's save it for the purpose of this video I've already created a small workflow which actually gets triggered once the event is there once the event is actually been picked up by the uh, service now monitor adapter and it triggers this particular workflow which writes the information the subject on a file called snow.txt on my c drive temp of my cdp server let's quickly save this this workflow and this mo let me take this module to our grid manager and we'll be activating it shortly once the module is successfully exported to the grid manager let's go back to the grid manager and activate that module all right let's activate this module Okay, the module is now activated on the grid. Let's quickly switch back to ServiceNow instance and we can create a new ticket. Let's fill up some details over here. Okay, I think we are good. Let me submit. All right, the incidence is now created. We can quickly go back to the email address and check whether the email notification has been there. As you can see over here, there is an email which has been sent by ServiceNow to the particular email address. We, we can wait for a few seconds while the BAO adapters checks the email box and picks, picks up this email notification. As you can see, the email message has already been read by the uh, monitor adapter. Let's switch to our uh, location where we have created the file to verify that the incidence has been, uh, email notification has been triggered and it has triggered our rule and it has in, uh, invoked our workflow. Let's quickly switch back to our Windows directory. As you can see over here, that snow.txt file has been created. Let's open it up to verify. Okay, as you can see, it has the same message printed over, over here, which indicated that our workflow got triggered and it has written this file with the subject line. Thank you all for watching.